So we're almost dead. Oh my god. Hi guys. So I know. Whoops. Sorry on my phone. Okay. Anyways. Guys, so I know that it's been a very long time since I have touched the base with you. But I think if it's ever a time where I feel like I need to talk about a certain couple things, it's like right now. Like, why does the news look like an action movie or like a scene out of Homeland? And you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Boston Marathon bombings. Now, I was in... A meeting and I stepped out and then I saw the whole of my Twitter timeline like the Boston Marathon bombing and explosions. so I was just like all right explosions this could be anything it could be like a gas pipe could be anything and then you start realizing that this is actually an attack now my heart goes out to all victims those who were physically and mentally damaged by what happened in Boston and because Jamaicans are everywhere, I knew people in Jamaica who had family in Boston. And so I really hope that everybody's okay and it's just horrible. But from the get-go, I knew, I was just like, you know, I just have a feeling if this was going to be like from like the jihadists or Taliban, I feel like the damage would have been worse. When I saw the damage that was done, I was like, okay, this feels like domestic. This feels like it's someone there from the United States that did it. And sure enough, that's what it's leaning towards. Now, when we heard what the device that they used was actually a pressure cooker, now, every single Jamaican, yard and abroad, went like this. A pressure cooker now from my eye they're my knee I know so pressure cooker is dangerous like if your grandmother never box your hand after the top of the pressure cooker until it's not something to play with you know that a pressure cooker is dangerous but I would be lying if I said I knew that pressure cooker could blow off people foot like I never know those things I, I only know what like you know like cooking gasoline and those things can kill you but I had no clue none whatsoever that the pressure cooker could cause that much damage and then they could put nail and ball bearings and all kind of things in there so that when it hit people like you have to be a very special person and down here they said that if America cough Jamaica catch cold let this be a cold that we don't catch please I'm not into the bombings thing Jamaica is too small to bomb anywhere. Like, you bomb New Kingston, and I'll feel that shit in Jack's Hill. Like, don't do it. It's not cute. It's not anything that we need to pick up. Let's just keep our bad qualities at scamming, smoking weed, drinking rum, and having multiple kids who don't know their father. Anyways, and then, like, right after, to show that America is definitely having the worst week ever, I'm sitting down here engrossed in my Mindy project, tweeting away, watching, you know, on my computer. And I see this big thing because I always have like basically CNN on mute because that's the best that CNN is on mute. And I see that there's this big explosion at a fertilizer plant in Texas. And I'm like, what? And then you see this home video that this man took, him and his daughter went, which you know what? I would have been, I can understand the man. People are saying, oh, it was dangerous. Listen, I would have, I see the factory on fire. I would have gone out there with my camera, my flip camera, I'm taping it, taping it. I probably even try going a little closer because enough time I feel like I'm Christian and I'm on poor and I want to go into the danger, the little journalism, run towards things, you know? Sometimes my, my melanin disappears. I feel a little white and I run towards danger as opposed to away from it. And so I can understand how he was there taping it and then the whole thing just went poof that looked like a movie like I fully expected it to see like Van Damme or Schwarzenegger or somebody just walking out with flames in slow motion and we can take serious thing make joke but people lost their lives you had brave firefighters there you know, people lost their pets, their homes. There was a nursing home that was like totally, it was totaled. And then you had like a 15 
like a 15 um, apartment complex and that was just demolished like when it and you can can you just imagine like you just try and empathize put yourself in those people's shoes like either you finish have sex or you just finish you know skyping or you just finish you're in your sleep you just finish watching the late show when you're going to your bed and then or like me is you're on your couch watching the mini project and you're just like you just get flown you just get fling all about the place like that that is just scary like i couldn't even go to my bed i was like jesus suppose i go to my bed and like i don't know something crazy like that happened because I, I can tell you right now i can tell you right now if i am in my sleep and something like that go off you don't have to come look for me i am not alive is a dead shell yeah fine i would just i'd be gone but also more to more local things now what's hot on the scene is one we have a tissue issue locally locally some brands of tissues international brands at that and local brands of tissue have been found to have bacteria on them and our bureau of standards decides that no one's dying from it and they're just gonna release like a haphazard list of people of manufacturers of tissue that's okay and we're supposed to like use the tissue that we have at home not knowing if it's wrong or not. excuse me can i call you right back please mommy can i call you back thanks Bureau of Standard basically says, look, nobody's dying from it. So I'm supposed to wipe my ass with bacterial tissue. And I'm not supposed to worry about it because I might not die. Now let me ask you something now. I, so I have my man. Just, you know, it's very hypothetical of using our imagination. So I have my man and we're not using a condom. Because we got tested and everything. No, people get tested for like gonorrhea, AIDS, syphilis, herpes. That one will get you. And all these type of things that normal people test for now who would expect that you're gonna have like a bacteria like just the thought of bacteria fungus fungi anything like that makes me clench it makes me uncomfortable and they're like oh there's just a few infections and i just can't understand why they're protecting the manufacturers over the consumers like i just I can't fathom. I just somebody needs to tell me what the Bureau of Standard is for. And let's be very, 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 very real. Let's be very real. Because what we're starting to find out is that there was no set guideline for the manufacture of tissue. So it was just like I could wake up and say, hey, guess what? I have money. I can do this. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have um a tissue and call it shell yeah and i wouldn't necessarily have to pass any type of guidelines and then you have foreign companies sending down stuff and you just assume that a scott tissue or like whoever else right bounty like these people would have certain guidelines but what we need to keep in mind is that we have to consistently protect ourselves because a lot of people view us as just a third world country and deserving of subpar shit and that's what's happened so i don't know about anybody else but i'll just be buying charmin i'll sacrifice and buy charmin because they're on the list and if i can find some on a store shelf that would be great but anyways that's all i have to say right now and my neighbor's dog has woken up so chances are you wouldn't be able to hear me over there barking over and out you hear that you hear it you hear it